there's some paradigm shifts in technology. Like, for example, these tech companies, are where they bad guys or good guys? I actually think right now with the tech class, you'd say, well, gosh, they kind of seem like bad guys. I think you're going to be good guys. And that, even though I'm part of the tech world, so maybe you can say, well, what are you talking about? Well, here's what I would say, is for up until the last four to max five years, two, even three to four years, uh, both U.S. and globally, people love technology companies. Like, what do you mean? You're, you're creating this phone that I can basically talk to my grandma in video? Like, damn, that's awesome. It costs me 500 bucks. It's insane. Oh, I can actually ask anything in the world and, you know, get the answer back in a second. It's like, well, what's wrong with that? And it's free? Awesome. It's like I can order something on the online and I, the package shows up the next morning. It's like through Amazon. I was like, damn, that's awesome. Like, who's opposed to that, right? But so there was a, there's a lot to be said. But here's the difference, the power of these companies. This, if you go back to 20... 11, 10 years ago, roughly, these are the most valuable companies in the world by market cap. Three of them are oil companies. One, Apple, which had just done the iPhone, was in the game at least. And that other one, by the way, is a bank, a Chinese bank. You go to 2020, all the most valuable companies in the world, the most powerful companies in the world, all West Coast tech companies, American tech companies, three of them in the Bay Area here, two up in Seattle. And these are trillions, not billions, they're worth trillions. And they're going more and more up the big, uh, thing. So these things are huge, and so people are freaked out about it, and they should be. And now government's starting to think, oh, God, do we, how do we counterbalance them? Anyhow, the point is, it doesn't necessarily mean this tech lash is more like a recognition. Even the people driving these companies, and I know a lot of them, they, they didn't even think it through. Holy shit, what happened? Now we're, we, got, we don't even know how we got there. Um, now, I will say there's going to be these paradigm shifts. There's going to be things, are we going to essentially through regulation? This is, you're the risk people, right? Will we break them up? Will we make them smaller? Will, again, privacy, that's another one that's going to be a big one around data. Is it going to be more transparent, more private? And software, is it going to be more open, particularly around AI, like so everybody can see what's going on, or more closed or private, in which who knows what the hell's going on? This is where crypto is getting a big discussion now because it's so closed, no one knows what the hell's going on on the other side of it. It's all encrypted. That's going to be a big debate.